Tell you, you can't just check out. Let me get your doctor, okay? Haven't you done enough already? Wait, wait! Natalia's gonna be worried sick. If you care so damn much about Natalia, you'll get out of her life before you ruin it. Just wait, wait, Frankie, wait. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just gonna check up on Frank. Why? Well, maybe I just like to check on the voters. I'm that kind of mayor. Bedside visits don't really seem like they're your thing. All right, look, maybe I also want to apologize. And avoid any uh, unnecessary lawsuits. Look, my guys got a little carried away. Um, they take their jobs very seriously. This is you? This, you're the reason why Frank looks like he lost a fight with a train? You know what? Frank was drunk and um, very belligerent, and my security guards took him down. No, that is not like Frank at all. <laughs> what, what was this fight about? You. And uh, the woman that you swear is just your friend. They might be giving you some pretty heavy meds because you seem a little out of sorts. I see things very clearly now. Frank, will you lie down? Let me get a nurse. Don't patronize me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I know about you and Natalia. Don't be angry with her. She feels bad enough as it is, Frank. Well, I'm not angry with her at all, actually. This was your idea, wasn't it? Excuse me? The two of you hooking up, or whatever it is you're doing. Frank, I know this is difficult. You mixed her I'm up, because that's exactly what Olivia Spencer does, doesn't she? She sees something that she wants, she goes after it, and she does every trick in the book to get it. Do not talk about this. What was it? You, 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 you didn't want to see us happy? You couldn't, you couldn't deal with that? Is that That's what it was? That's not fair. You struck out with Gus, so you decided to go after his wife? Stop, stop, Frank. If you want somebody to blame, to blame me. Okay. You need to, I think you should get, get in bed. And... I finally figured it out. I know the real reason why you stopped the wedding. And it's standing right here. Frank, if you think that Olivia pushed me into anything, that I could be that easily manipulated, then you never really knew me. Natalia, you don't have to do this. I care too much for you to let us live a lie, and that's exactly what our marriage would have been. She got into your head. She can convince anyone of anything. I know this is really hard to accept, but, you know, this just, it just happened and it's real. And now you have to let go. So that's it, huh? It's now you and Olivia. What is it that you are exactly? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever know, but I know what it's not. It's not harmful or sinful or a hundred other words that had me ready to marry a good man like you and make us both regret it for the rest of our lives. All along. I thought it was me. I thought I was pushing you way too hard. I blamed myself. I'm sorry. And you let me. I never, I never meant to hurt you, Frank. It's a little late for that, don't you think, Natalia? Wait. Frank! Frank! I owed Frank the truth. Or else he's just going to keep getting into fights. You 
That's how I got that shiner. He deserves better. You know, he deserves to be happy. So do we. Yes, we do. But is this the price that we have to pay because we have these feelings? I don't know. Well, today it's Frank. Next it could be Emma. It could be Rafe. I don't know. I don't know. We've tried ignoring this. We're, but we're together. And we're together. So what does that say? That this is real. But then there are all these real consequences that we have because we feel this way about I knew each other. the consequences the minute I told you that I loved you. If you can't handle this, then you need to let me know. Now. Keep it to myself for the feeling this Frank. 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 Frank, man, I thought that was you. Damn, dude, you look like hell. Listen, I wanna I wanna say I'm sorry again about you and my mom not working out. Thanks, Ray. Right, I gotta go now. Oh, Frank, come on, stop, man. What happened to you? You wouldn't believe it. Try me. If we move forward, we can't have any regrets. Well, I've had my personal talk with God, and I am making peace with this. Are you? My soul's never been much of a battleground. We can't stay inside forever. We've got to, to live our lives. So, um... When we go away together, we'll figure out how to be together, you know, what, what we are to each other. All right, I'm sorry, I'll be right there. Frank, come on, you got a, you got, you got a, a bag of bandages and aspirin, you got a six pack of beer? What happened? I walked into a door. Frank. Rafe. There's something you should know about the wedding. I'm listening. Your mom and me, man. We 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 just weren't meant to be, and it's it's my loss. Oh, Frank, come on, it's my loss too. I, I just hope that we can stay friends. I, I promise you, your number is still on my speed dial. Your mom's a great lady. She worked very hard for you. She stands up for the people that she loves. And if you happen to be one of those people, well, then you're very lucky. I know my mom is the best, right? Don't ever forget that. And don't let anyone ever convince you other than that. All right? Like, when, when, when I'm free, why don't we just play some hoops or something, right? You got it, man. Yeah? Yeah. All right, man. Easy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Be careful with those doors, all right? Be cool.